Want to go to a fun pool but don't know where to go? Want to improve your swimming skills and learn how to be safe around water? Want to know what other opportunities are out there for fun in the sun? All this summer fun coming right up. Another exciting show of Come Out and Play Chandler. I'm your host, Lisa Aquafreda. Well, it's that time of year again when everyone is wondering what they can do to beat the heat. And if you live in the valley or you plan on visiting Chandler, then you're in luck. Chandler provides indoor and outdoor activities to keep everyone in the family having fun and staying busy with summer camps and programs at our many locations throughout the summer. But one of the greatest parts of summer is going to the pool. And what better place to do that than to visit one of our great aquatic facilities? I like to come to this pool because the pool is nice and it's just a fun place to come during the summer. The slides are, you can go down real fast. You can come race your friends, jump off the diving boards. The place is just really fun, a whole lot of fun. Chandler has six pools located around the city. Mesquite Grove's Aquatic Center is located on the northwest corner of Riggs and Val Vista Roads. Mesquite Grove's Aquatic Center has some of our most popular amenities. It does have a lazy river, two water slides, a zero depth entry area with an interactive water feature and a water vortex. Hamilton is located on the northwest corner of Ocotillo and Arizona Avenue. That too has two water slides, a water vortex, a current river and a zero depth entry area. West Chandler Aquatic Center is located on Kyrene Road, just north of the 202. West Chandler has three separate bodies of water, a zero depth play pool with a water slide and an interactive water feature, a diving well with a three meter diving board and two one meter boards and a competition pool. Arrowhead Pool is located off of Erie Street between Dobson and Alma School, north of Chandler Boulevard. That has a 50 meter competition pool with a three meter and a one meter diving board, as well as a family play pool with a water slide and a current river as well as toddler slide. Desert Oasis Aquatic Center is located off of Alma School Road and Summit Place, which is just north of Elliott. Desert Oasis Aquatic Center has a zero depth entry with two toddler slides, a competition area, and two water slides, one for a 42 inch rider and another one for a 48 inch rider, which is a drop water slide. Foley Pool is located off of Fairview, which is between Arizona Avenue and McQueen Road, just north of Pecos Road. And that is our smallest facility, but it does have a water spray pad as well as a three meter and a one meter diving board. Some of our aquatic facilities are already open for business with others closely following. Mesquite Crows has been in operation since March 12th. They have daily hours, except for on Mondays. They start their seasonal operational hours on May 31st. Hamilton Aquatic Center will open on May 1st for weekends during May and on June 2nd for seasonal operational hours. West Chandler Aquatic Center opens on weekends starting May 1st. They'll be open from noon to five. Seasonal operational hours start on May 31st. Desert Oasis opens for the season on May 31st. And Foley and Arrowhead Pool will open for the season on June 2nd. Please be sure to check our website or the Break Time magazine for the operational hours of each aquatic center because they do vary. We'll be right back to tell you about our recent pool upgrades after these messages. Here are some things to know before visiting a City of Chandler pool. While safety vests are wonderful tools for parents to help protect their children, they are no substitute for adult supervision. We ask that all children wearing a U.S. Coast Guard approved flotation device be within arm's reach of a parent or a responsible adult at all times. Life vests are also available for checkout at each facility. Outside food and beverage is allowed in each one of our aquatic centers. Just remember, we only allow one 7x7x9 cooler per guest, which is about a six pack size. In addition, food items must fit within either the cooler or within a brown bag. 
pizzas or pizza in boxes, fried chicken in boxes, party subs, and other food items, such as cupcakes, cakes, etc., that cannot be placed in a brown bag or give the appearance of a party-type food are prohibited. If you are wanting to celebrate a birthday at the pool, please visit www.angelositalianice.com for more information. In the event of an emergency or inclement weather, you may be asked to exit the water. In addition, to enhance the skills of our lifeguard staff, we may be conducting rescue drill scenarios. If you hear a whistle or series of whistles blown, please follow the instructions of our aquatic staff. Be sure to walk on deck. Running may lead to slips and falls. In addition, diving in shallow water is not allowed and may lead to severe injury. The City of Chandler is not responsible for lost or stolen items. Each facility offers coin-operated lockers to secure your belongings. And our most important rule when visiting the pool is to stay safe and have fun. We want your next experience to be a memorable one. Hi, I'm Mark Spitz. Swimming is great fun, but remember, children can drown in just a few inches of water. So if your kids are in water, even very shallow water, you should be too. You are your child's first line of defense. Be water aware. Never leave your kids unattended near water. Not even for a minute. Brought to you by the World Water Park Association and your local water park. The aquatic staff has been busy preparing the pools for the 2011 season. Part of the preparation includes some improvements to our facilities. One of the major improvements that we've done is we installed ultraviolet disinfectant systems on each one of our aquatic center bodies of water. This is a secondary disinfectant system that kills the bug that causes cryptosporidium and all of those other nasty little critters that are chlorine resistant when we have uh, fecal incidents. The other thing that we've done is each facility has received additional shade structures as well as additional seating in the form of pool furniture. We had deck improvements done at Arrowhead Pool, Hamilton Aquatic Center, and the West Chandler Aquatic Center. We have bathroom floor improvements at the Hamilton Aquatic Center and public address system improvements at Foley and Hamilton Aquatic Center as well as electrical upgrades over at Foley Pool. There's a lot of time and effort that gets placed into preparing the aquatic centers for use and the aquatic maintenance technicians spend a great deal of time from November through May preparing the aquatic centers for public use and to keep those facilities safe and operational. More pool fun coming up after these messages. When visiting the pools, please follow the six steps for healthy swimming. Step one, please don't swim when you have diarrhea. You can spread germs in the water and make other people sick. Step two, please don't swallow pool water and avoid getting water in your mouth. Step three, please practice good hygiene. Shower with soap before swimming and wash your hands after using the toilet or changing diapers. Step four, please take your kids on bathroom breaks or check diapers often. Waiting to hear I have to go may mean it's too late. Step five, please change diapers in a bathroom or diaper changing area only and not at poolside. Step six, please wash your child thoroughly, especially the rear end, with soap and water before they go swimming. City of Chandler Aquatics wants you and your family to stay safe. Following these six steps leads to healthy swimming habits. Hi, I'm Rowdy Gaines, Olympic gold medalist. As parents, we teach our kids about life, so be sure your kids learn the skill that can literally save their life, learning to swim. Research shows that if a child doesn't learn to swim by the third grade, they likely never will. So teach them a skill that will keep them safe in and around the water. Be water aware. Sign your kids up for swimming lessons today. And if you can't swim, sign yourself up too. Brought to you by the World Water Park Association and your local water park. While it's fun to play around the water, it's important to play it safe and know how to swim. It's important to swim because you need to feel safe around the water. It's great exercise and then you can get really good muscles. We always want to remind residents to always watch their kids around water and to make sure that your children learn how to swim. We do offer swimming lessons. Registration for sessions one and two, which begin on June 6th, start on May 7th. Get in quick because our classes fill quickly. We offer morning classes at each facility. We offer evening classes at Arrowhead, Desert Oasis, Foley, and Mesquite Groves Aquatic Center, and we offer Saturday classes at the Hamilton Aquatic Center. 
So we try to offer a variety of times and classes so that all individuals have access to our lesson program. Also, if you can't afford swimming lessons, we do offer a pool pack scholarship, which are free to anybody who fills out the application, and we also have our Goodwill scholarship available. Our lesson program offers classes from ages ranging from six months on up to adults, so please take advantage of such an important life-saving skill. What we also offer is we have four recreational swim teams. Uh, some of those programs are currently full, but our morning program over at the West Chandler Aquatic Center, the Hammerheads, and the morning program at Arrowhead Pool, the Dolphins program, still have slots available. We'll tell you about our upcoming events in just a moment. As temperatures rise, we all like to head to the water for some cool water fun. Your Chandler Fire Department would like to give you a few tips to help keep cool water fun from becoming a water tragedy. First, always designate a water watcher. That's one person that does nothing but watch the people in the pool. And don't become distracted by anything. It's a good idea to have a cell phone or a cordless phone nearby in case there is an emergency or if you have to take a call. Remember, eye to eye to supervise. If you can't see their eyes, they're not being supervised. Your pool should be adequately fenced with approved pool fencing. The slots should be no more than four inches apart so nobody can squeeze through them. And all gates leading into or out of the pool should be self-closing and self-latching. All adults and caregivers should know CPR. If you're interested in learning CPR, call our office at 480-782-2134 and we'll get a class scheduled for you. Child drownings are preventable. Let's work together to make this a safe and happy season. Hi, I'm Amanda Beard. Kids rack up more than half of their lifetime sun exposure before age 18. So it's important to teach them how to enjoy fun in the sun safely. Childhood sunburns greatly increase the risk of skin cancer later in life, and kids burn fast. So use lots of sunscreen, apply it early, and don't forget hats. Be water aware. Make sure your kids always wear plenty of sunscreen. Brought to you by the World Water Park Association and your local water park. There are a number of special events held throughout the aquatic facilities throughout the summer. Not only do we offer free swim times at each aquatic center, we also offer dollar family nights. So again, check your break time or our website for those times and hours that we offer those things. But we also have special events. I would like to come to cool events this summer because it's just fun and you get to hang out with your friends. and. Just relax. For more information on additional programs, outings, and summer camps we offer during the summer season, please check out our break time or give us a call at 480-782-2727. For the latest recreation information, follow us on Twitter and Facebook. You can also sign up for our monthly e-newsletter at www.chandleraz.gov slash listserv.html. I'm standing in front of what used to be Chandler's first public swimming pool located on the northwest corner of McQueen and Fry Roads. It was built in the 1920s by the Chandler Chamber of Commerce. The pool was 12 feet deep, had three diving boards, and the water came from a Salt River project well. There was a smaller kiddie pool to the side of the main pool. Next to the pool was a little park area with shade trees and picnic tables. One of the patrons remembered that it cost 10 cents in the late 1930s and 40s for kids to get in. As you can see, a lot has changed since then, and we'll be sharing more Chandler history with you as we near our centennial year in 2012. I'd like you to come out and visit one of our aquatic centers. We have a great aquatic staff. They're currently training and preparing as well to allow you to come into our facilities and swim in a safe and inviting environment. Well, that's our show for today. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed these great summer ideas. Until next time, come on, play, Chandler. Let's hit the pools. Come on, guys.